Hey, this is Tom with Jailbreak Nation, and today we're taking a look at the Logic Free Ferrari T50 on ear headphones. The most prominent thing about these headphones is that they're Ferrari branded, meaning that they have a certain style and reputation to live up to. First, we'll talk about the design, and the T50s certainly stand out here. They have a very vintage design and definitely have a definitive style. They have a cool holographic effect on the cups with the Ferrari logo and a lovely leather finish all over the headphones. The build is also really solid as well. If I had any complaints about the design, it's that they're not exactly low key. You're only going to want to wear this outside if you're a huge outspoken Ferrari fan, as they stick out like a sore thumb. They also have had some odd design choices here, like using cheap plastic for the inline controls rather than using metal. This being said though, they're really comfortable and I can use them for hours at a time. As they're on-ear headphones, they aren't too big, however they stick out rather oddly on your head as they have quite a big depth as opposed to a large width. This being said, I was really happy with the build and design as the headphones have very solid construction and use a variety of high quality materials to accomplish this, minus the cheap plastic used for certain instances. Before I talk about the audio quality, I just want to quickly talk about the price. From the official Ferrari store, and I'll link that down below, they run $471 or around £293. Bear in mind that this is probably the most expensive place you'll find, uh, but the price variation isn't too great anywhere else. Uh, I just thought that I'd list it down on the Ferrari website due to the fact their official pricing so I thought that was just more reliable. So stay aware of that price as we talk about the audio, and I can honestly say there's no way they perform up to the price that they ask for. I own a variety of different headphones, and these are similar audio standard to my Sony XB500s. The XB500s perform exceedingly well for their price, but for the T250 to sound similar to a pair of headphones that cost around $70 is just ridiculous. Audio frequently becomes muddy, uh, and with pretty much all the tone levels sounding washed out, even at low volumes. The sound isn't bad, it's just not good enough to request this exorbitant pricing. To sum it up, there's only one way you're going to really want to buy these headphones. They're going to be suitable for people who have more money than cents or who are huge Ferrari fans that can't imagine not pinking them up.